All right, so we'll start here with the camera. Wait, let me put this on the selfie stick first. What's even funner is that this is on a light stand. It works though. This light stand is a piece of shit anyway. All right, so let's start with who and where we are. We are filming on the 70D. We'll go out of focus mode for the 70D just because it's a piece of crap anyway. No, I'm just kidding. Start the vlog off on the 70D. And what I normally do is I put it here in the office, just put it here. Uh, it's on our 502 HD Manfrotto, and then it's got a Ace Bill T30. Actually, this, this combo is not the same brand, obviously. This is a cheaper alternative than having all Manfrotto everything. You don't need the brand. Who needs the brand? I'm just going to keep rolling. So down here we got our C stand. Uh, and plugged up there. So for lighting, I use a C stand, use a 300 watt here. And actually today we just put on this, uh, this really nice diffusion paper. It's actually kind of double layered. Then we have a CTB here because that is a halogen light bulb there. So, or excuse me, it's a halogen light, so it's 2700. And then a uh, CTB here to make it into 5,500. And then you got this diffusion paper here, which just makes it super soft. I mean, like, look at that. I mean, it's a little harsh right here, but like you back it up and it's like, ooh, that is it's very soft. Almost like Kino Flow kind of effect going. We've got just like a typical lamp here. That's a daylight balance. And we're just kind of like lighting up the room, just getting some general ambient light. And usually we have like sunlight beaming through here, sunlight beaming through there. Uh, because we usually film this at like 2.30 in the afternoon. Sunlight comes through that window, shines on that wall, makes everything nice and sunny. But when we don't have light, I'll use this LED panel here. I'll use the LED panel here, and that will give me sort of a, a backlight effect, sort of, you know, kind of separate me from the background. See, kind of, when you're, when you're shaping light, it's actually kind of nice to put your hand over what you think the light is coming from. So like for this softbox here, you're doing a little like okay yes yeah, so that's where this line is you can even do a little where's that like coming from and uh, actually another cinematography tip you can do um, you put your just put your hand over your eye I'm, I'm left eye dominant so uh, so put your hand over your eye and then like pinhole it so kind of like make a nice you know kind of like look through it and then kind of kind of pinhole it like, kind of like this here and what this does, this kind of mimics what the camera sees. And because our eyes take in, our eyes take in so much ambient light that if you put sort of a, you know, a little mini matte box on it, you'll be able to see where the light is shining. You can, you can sort of see, you can see how the light affects everything. It's a great cinematography tip. Um, it actually takes the place of those little blue, if you've ever seen a director or a DP with like those little blue chips, those little blue monocles, that's what they're doing. They're kind of cutting out the light so they can see just what is being affected. So you kind of like, kind of like looking at it like, oh yeah, that's where, that's where that light's coming from. What else do we have? All right, let's, uh, we can go into audio a little bit. So I have this cheap Sony Lav here. This is a Sony lo Stereo Lav. Um, cheap little Sony Stereo Lav. Put it here on my little shirt and I plug it in. Goes down, we go directly into the camera, and goes into that little mic import right there. I have no problem at this moment using this audio. This has worked out for the best, I think. Um, we were using actually this before. Oh gosh. We were using the Tascam DR60, which is fantastic. I would recommend this, and we had it like right underneath the DSLR and it was going into XLR cables and we had like a boom pole above me and it was constantly, you know, there was always a, a microphone hanging right above my head and it sounded great. It was nice warm presence, very, very solid sounding, uh, but, a f but it just, you know, it got, in, it got in the way between the record button and the upload button. Like, it just, whenever, you know, with these vlogs, with making them every day, 
whatever you can do to reduce the time between record and upload, that's where you wanna go. So if it's quick lighting, if it's an LED, if it's just a simple lamp, if it's a webcam, whatever you can do to just reduce that time between record and upload. I always try to like do some like nice little background, maybe like what's relevant to the episode. You know, I got like, just go here, you just change your backdrop. Got a problem with PC fools? Yeah, so you can like, oh, you know, that's kind of cool. Or like, oh yeah, this should be the background. Yeah, you know, find some cool images, find something like, you know, something funky. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, you know, then you have a nice backdrop. Take the memory card out and I'll put it into my little memory slot here. See what I'm saying? And from there, uh, we'll just put it on Premiere, download everything, and uh, yeah, that's usually the end of it. So, cool. Are we still recording? All right, yeah. Nice little stream of consciousness here. We actually had a light go out the other day, so we gotta get a new halogen bulb, and they don't sell it anywhere but online, and uh, I'm very sad. I've kind of vowed not to use autofocus on this anymore for the vlogs because it's uh, it's terrible. Because it just, it, when it's not bright enough, it'll constantly hunt. And I've had to record one too many vlogs where it's like, oh, you're know, completely out of focus the whole episode. Like, great, great. Cool, all right, yeah, just randomness. Do you have any, have any questions about how we do the vlogs? This is a pretty typical setup for a typical day. But, um, you know, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Snapchat. I'm on, I'm gonna Snapchat out. So thanks for watching the Valley Films video vlog, guys. We'll see you next time. Be sure to follow us on Snapchat at Valley underscore films. Peace.